My name is Carl Williams. I'm a heavyweight from the Virgin Islands. I fought on Contender Series September 6, 2022. I fought Jimmy Lawson. I took the fight on 10 days notice because when the UFC calls, you don't turn it down. That's what you've been waiting your whole career for. Going into the fight, I had one broken hand. I was waiting to heal up and then the UFC called and I was like, let's go. <laughs> hey, man. Let's go. Let's go. No matter what the circumstances, I think you have a better shot trying and failing than not trying at all. Going into the fight, I feel confident. I know my corners, I know my coaches, I know what I put in for the whole year. For only fighting since 2021, DC, he's got a lot of good skills he brings in there. He's got great skills, and honestly, I met him in the back, and he's just a really nice guy. <laughs> a really, really nice guy. But when he goes into the octagon, dude's gonna try to win this fight and go into the UFC. And because of his height, that may be a problem for James Lawson because of the way that he uses his Carl, wrestling. Ready? Jimmy, ready? First round, fight's on. Fight starts, he comes out. He's pressuring me, pressuring, pressuring me. And I know once he starts pressuring, he's going to start blitzing, you know, heavy hands, trying to get you out of there quick. Saw the hook coming, shot under it, and then took him down the rest of the fight. Regardless of what happens from here on out, how big of a moral victory is that for Carl Williams to take down the Penn State wrestler and be on top in this position right now? I didn't look his wrestling career up, so I don't have too much, but everybody's like, Penn State wrestler, Penn State wrestler. I'm like, okay. He's getting taken down again. Wow. We're in MMA now. Wrestling mat, he probably wins, but MMA cage is a different whole scenario. Tell you what, Carl Williams did not look out of place in this heavyweight division, Laura. That is incredibly impressive for a guy to come in on short notice, fight up a weight class, against a D1 All-American wrestler from Penn State. All of the X factors not in his favor, and he came out here and showed up and showed out. Very, very impressive for Carl Williams. At the end of the fight, I'm thinking, man, did you do enough? I gave my best for that moment in the situation, but it wasn't my personal best as far as what I could do. So I'm like, is that good enough for the UFC? For the winner, by unanimous decision, Carl! Winning the fight felt good, but I didn't know if it was enough to get the contract. Carl took a fight on 10 days notice, out-wrestled the wrestler. He was a two-to-one dog. He moved up a weight class. What else could he do? So I'll tell you what, Carl, I'll make you a deal. I'm gonna give you the biggest opportunity of your life. Get a full camp in, come on into the UFC, and let's see what you can do. Carl Williams, welcome to the UFC. Having Dana welcome me to the UFC, tell me I have a contract was exciting, breathtaking, it's just mind blowing. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Get, get a full so camp kid. And yes, sir. Get in there and get see what you can do. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Getting the UFC contract changed my life as far as expectations. Now you have a lot more expectations on you, and you have the competition coming your way. They give you somebody, you got to fight them. So that aspect changed a lot. We're in Columbia, South Carolina, having a barbecue celebrating, bringing everybody that's been on this journey from the beginning, from way back when I was this small. Just a way of me showing thank you to everybody that helped this be possible. The support of my team and family and my community means everything. I mean, to have people that really believe in you always pushes you. Through the bad times and the good times, everybody, you know, still have been here to help, especially with me having to travel back and forth. 
and I'm gonna still need all the support and help <laughs> going forward because um, it's getting tougher. <laughs> so thank you, thank you guys. And let's eat. I hope Frog can get a title fight. He keeps putting the hard work and the effort and we keep trying to make our schedule as flexible as possible. It'll be fine. It'll work out. Having a support system like I have is, it's amazing. Like, it's, it brings you back to the old days where it's like, like, we have a village, so I'm here because of my village. I decided to finish my fight camp out in Vegas because of the UFC PI. I'm able to still get the same type of training that I would in Atlanta, but I'm also able to, to get a little more hands-on training outside of MMA training as far as like PT and different things. I've been waiting for this moment since I got home from the, from the Contender Series. You know, it took a little bit of time to spend with the family because I was away. And then after that, we were right back into work. I can't wait to make my debut. It's been a long time coming. I'm ready. I'll be fighting in Las Vegas, Virgin Hotel, March 11. My opponent is Lucas Brzezinski. Big guy, looks like he hits hard. So it should be a good one. We should leave it a little bruised up. <laughs> Can't take it, but take offense. It's been very hard being away from my family. You have to give to get. I'm giving what I need to give, and hopefully I get out of it what I put in. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to get into the octagon, make my debut, put all this hard work and all this effort that my coaches have been putting into me and I've been putting into myself and sacrifices and put it on the line and see how it goes. Like ever since.